Hi everyone, very good evening and welcome back to GFG practice. Uh, please give me a plus one in the chat guys if my voice is clearly audible to all of you and everything is working fine. And uh, hi to Rishit as well. Hi everyone else as well. Hi Tejas and hi Rishit. Hi guys. So let's quickly start with the problem solving and uh, the problem is quite easy reverse coding. So I'll just share my screen and then we can start discussing this particular problem. So here is the screen sharing now. Okay, so let us uh, have a look at the problem statement, guys. Okay, and you can hit the like button before we proceed further as well. And I'll check everything is working fine here or not. Yeah, I'm live as well. Okay, so basically in this particular problem, what we have to do is you are given an integer value n and your task is to return the sum of all the natural number less than equal to n. And you have to return the answer modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 okay so basically what we uh, need to do here is we will be given a particular n value let's say we have been given the n value as 5 okay then we have to do what we have to do 1 plus 2 okay plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 okay so we have to add all of it and then we have to return the like whatever result we are having we have to uh, do the modulo with 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and then we have to return the answer Okay, so in this particular case, one of the ways is that I can do what I can run a loop. Okay, the method one can be what that I can uh, run a loop. Okay, and I can start a loop that I starts from one and I is less equal to n and then we can do an I plus plus. Okay, and then after that, you can say that sum is equal to sum plus I modulo mod, right? This kind of a thing we can do. But uh, if you will do it this way, this will give you time limit exceeded. This can give you time limit exceeded because this is taking order of n time, right? So instead of doing this, what we can do is we can do it in a better fashion because if we uh, please write clear in the chat, is the approach one clear to everybody, right? The the method one can be that we just run a loop from one till n and we keep on adding all the elements in form of i and you keep on taking the modulus every time, okay? But this will be order of n and in GFG compiler currently it will give you a TLE because they are expecting a order of one solution okay they are expecting a constant solution so what will be the method to the method to that you need to apply here is nothing but the sum of all the n natural numbers right uh, so yeah just let me write this as method two so what you need to do is uh, you, you when you have one two three you keep on adding and you have n right so this is nothing but sum of n natural numbers right sum of n natural number sum of n natural numbers n natural numbers okay so in this particular case what is the sum of the n natural numbers right so uh, this is a arithmetic progression 1 plus 2 2 plus 3 up till n so basically this uh, the answer for this is n into n plus 1 by 2 is that clear to everyone guys okay so the answer is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 uh, so basically what will happen is uh, we can simply say that we can uh, return what n into n plus 1 right by 2 uh, and then we can we can take the modulo of this particular value as well, right? But the problem with that, the problem with that is uh, is there is one there is one problem with that, and the problem with that is is because it the uh, n value has been given in the n, uh, integer format, okay? And when you multiply, suppose this is suppose this is ten to the power, let's say this is ten to the power five, okay? Then this will also be relatively ten to the power five, right? Because this will be ten to the power five plus one. Assume it as ten to the power five. Then it will go ten. To, the overall multiplication will go ten to the power eight, uh, ten, which will exceed the integer limit, right? Please write plus one in the chat. Is this part clear? Suppose that we are having what we are having the n value as ten to the power five. So n is given in integer format, okay? So integer into integer will be what integer when you multiply integer into integer so the resultant would be an integer only right i hope that this point you understand when you multiply the data type integer into integer so you'll get the resultant as an integer so when you multiply 10 to the power 5 and 10 to the power 5 so you are expecting what you are expecting 10 to the power 10 but actually 10 to the power is out of the integer range guys okay so it will it is out of the integer range so basically when you will multiply integer into integer so in, uh, the resultant is 10 to the power 10 which is uh, which cannot be stored in an integer right so this will overflow please write yes in the chat okay so basically this will overflow because the integer cannot hold this value is that clear because this is beyond the maximum value that an integer can hold is this part clear please write yes in the chat guys are you getting my example or not is this part clear please write yes in the chat so basically it will overflow when you do integer into integer right so in this case when you will do integer into integer 
so this will overflow right this will overflow and then when you will divide uh, when it will overflow after that when you divide it by 2 and take the modulus so you will you will start returning the wrong answer here okay it can be negative or it can be a very lesser answer so in this particular case in order to handle this particular situation what we can do is if you have n okay and you are doing what n into uh, you are doing n into n plus 1 right divided by 2 so basically what we can what we can do is we if we multiply one long or we convert it as long we can ma uh, name one of them as long okay or what we can do is uh, instead of uh, instead of doing this we can simply say that what uh, we need to type cast into the longer type okay so we can do what we can have n into one ll okay one ll will be the uh, long data type okay and one ll is basically one in the long data type and then multiply it with n plus one okay and divide it by two so when you are uh, when you are going to do this particular thing now then what is going to happen integer into long okay because one is long integer into long into integer right so the uh, divided by 2 so the result for that is going to be uh, overall the data type is going to be long divided by 2 okay so that is why when you will now multiply now so this will not overflow because suppose the n value is 10 to the power 6 and here also you are having 10, relatively 10 to the power 6 when you multiply this overall so this will be 10 to the power 12 right and uh, this will not uh, this multiplication numerator and uh, this numerator will now not overflow because it will be in the longer data type so in since it is in the long data type so it will not overflow then you will divide it by 2 okay Okay, and that is and then after that, just after that, you can take the modulus and return the answer. Is this part clear? Please write yes in the chat. So that is why when you are returning this answer, so we can say that we can do what n into one ll. Okay, one ll into uh, n plus uh, one. Right. Uh, this is what we can do so that the overall numerator comes under the uh, long data type. Uh, okay, and then you divide it by two. And after that, once you get this whole expression, then you can do the modulus with the mod value, where the mod is nothing but 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Is that clear? That is how we can handle the overflow. So this can be done to handle the overflow case. Or if you wanted, you could have also done this thing, right? Long of uh, long n into n plus 1 also. You could have done it like this also. But generally, this is a better format, right? n into uh, this thing and into n plus 1, right? So n into 1 into n plus 1, where 1 is indicating the long data type. Uh, one ll is indicating the long data type so that is how we can control the overflow is this part clear to everybody guys please let me know in the chat okay so i'm just showing you what i have done here so i have done what i have just declared is what was told in the question and after that we are doing n into one ll that is nothing but for converting into long data type and then n plus one you could have used bracket of long also like type casting you would have done like that also that is also fine but normally when you are doing type casting in programming so this is better right this is assumed as a better way so n into one ll into n plus 1 that is what we can uh, do by for getting the numerator and after that you can divide it by 2 and uh, after this we can just take the modulo and return the answer so this is nothing but overall it is n into n plus 1 by 2 only because you are doing multiplication with one ll but it, it will just convert the numerator in the long data right and then you take the modulus to return the final answer so uh, and this takes order of one time because we are just applying the formula directly and i'll submit this code and you can see that this particular code gets accepted as well right so please write acop in the chat guys if everyone is clear with this part and i will uh, uh, just quickly uh, uh, give you the code as well okay guys is it clear to everybody please tell me guys i hope that this particular approach is so far clear to all of you right acop okay rishit is clear other people who are clear as well they can also hit the like button and give me a plus one in the chat guys and uh, please hit the like button okay so just a small request from all of you that if you have understood this problem clearly that is nothing but the approach of one into one ll okay into n plus one uh, okay and divided by two and then taking the modulo with the mod value this is how we are doing it so we are just applying the formula normally so the time complexity for my approach will be nothing but order of one and the space complexity is also going to be order of one because we are not taking any extra space and please make sure to hit the like button if you have understood this particular approach clearly because if you don't apply one ll so then it will uh, not work properly because if n is 10 to the power 5 and here if you have 10 to the power 5 so this will overflow integer overflow will happen so that is why you need to convert it to the numerator in the long data type so please hit the like button guys and please make sure to subscribe this channel as well if you haven't already and share uh, share this with your friends as well and please uh, write understood in the chat if you have understood it clearly okay i hope that all of you have clearly understood this particular problem uh, thanks a lot uh, rishit okay and uh, thanks a lot uh, 
Tej as uh, Tejas as well. Okay, thanks a lot, guys, for joining for this particular session. So that was it for today's POD because it was quite easy. So I'll see you with another problem of the day tomorrow, and uh, I hope that it is going to be interesting one. I think it is a uh, as far as I have seen. So I think it uh, looks like a greedy problem to me. Just let me refresh this screen. I think uh, this problem kind of is greedy in nature. So we will see to it. I think I have solved it earlier. So yeah, we will uh, have a look at it. Thanks a lot, everyone, for joining. And please make sure to hit the like button. Uh, comment down understood if you have understood it completely. And I'll see you in the next session. Till then, keep coding. Thanks a lot and subscribe the channel. Thank you, everyone.